Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to Brain Food, the show where I show you guys how to make some really easy, quick and healthy study snack ideas. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of my favourite breakfast ideas, which actually makes a really good snack option as well, which are some mini buckwheat pancakes. So all the ingredients you'll need will be some coconut flour, buckwheat flour, some baking soda or bicarbonate soda and a glass of milk. And I'm actually using some rice milk because I am a little bit lactose sensitive. So you can actually use any kind of milk that you guys like. Okay, so first off, I'm going to add my glass of milk into my mixing bowl. And then with a one to one ratio, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of buckwheat and a quarter of a cup of the coconut flour. So the buckwheat flour actually soaks up a lot of liquid, which is why I'm doing a one to one ratio of the dry and wet ingredients. So I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of the buckwheat flour. Now, I really, really like using buckwheat flour as opposed to anything else because it just gives it a really nice texture and flavor. And also, buckwheat is so healthy. It's low GI, so it's going to keep you feeling quite sustained for a lot longer than wheat flour. And it's not processed, so again, it is a lot healthier than other kinds of flour on the market. And then I'm just going to top up the glass with the coconut flour. And that's about a whole glass. So I'm gonna add that into the mixture. And then I'm just gonna add a pinch of bicarbonate soda. And that's just gonna help the pancakes to rise. And then you guys are probably thinking, Jess, what about an egg? How are you gonna buy the ingredients? Well, actually buckwheat flour doesn't really need any help binding. So if you guys are vegan, then again, this recipe is great for you. So just a pinch of the bicarb soda or baking soda. And now I'm going to mix everything in together before popping it on a fry pan with a little bit of coconut oil. And then we get to top our pancakes with some really yummy toppings. So I'm just gonna mix everything through. Mix it a little bit slowly just so that all the flour stays in the bowl and you don't end up making such a mess. And something else to be mindful of though is that both buckwheat flour and coconut flour really do soak up all of that moisture. So you might need to add just a little bit more milk or even water if you don't want to add milk, just so that it's not too thick. And I think my mix is actually a little bit thick this time. So perhaps one and a half cups of milk to one cup of flour would be best. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk. Okay, so I'm just pouring some into the center of the bowl. Probably about another quarter of a cup in there and mixing that all the way through before popping that on our pan. Okay, so I'm actually using a medium heat because you want for the second that the batter goes onto the pan for it to go a little bit crispy and they're also easier to flip if they cook on a little bit of a higher flame. So I've also added a little bit of coconut oil into the pan, about a quarter of a teaspoon, and that's just gonna make the pancakes really crispy and a little bit more of that beautiful coconut essence is gonna go into them as well. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, I am a huge fan of coconut. Okay, so the pan seems to be nice and hot and I've got the coconut melting into the pan. And I'm just gonna take my ladle and I'm gonna make them pretty mini. So probably about half a ladle of batter is gonna go into the pan. Okay, off the pan, nice and hot they are. And now it's time to top the little mini buckwheat pancakes with some of my favorite things. So I've decided to top them with some banana, blueberries and strawberries. And I've also got some honey and shredded coconut because I think all these ingredients go so well together. So it's time to plate up and make this look super pretty. <laughs> so first off, I'm gonna do one buckwheat pancake with some strawberries. And I'm getting really creative here. I'm just trying to place the strawberries in a little, little circular pattern. I think it just makes it look so much nicer, so much more appetizing as well. So it's cute. And then the next one I'm gonna do just a handful of blueberries. Now I love working with, working with, cooking with berries because they are so high in antioxidants. They taste so yummy. They're so healthy. So I love adding some berries into my diet. I usually eat berries Definitely every week, I was gonna say every day, but maybe like every second day. And then I'm gonna add some banana because it's really high in potassium, which is fantastic. And I'm just going to spread some little pieces of banana all over this little buckwheat pancake over here. They're so cute, I love it. I love making mini food. I just find it so much more fun. 
and then I'm also going to add some shredded coconut probably onto the one with banana because I think that they go really well together and then I'm gonna add some honey so this honey is pure Australian honey by Capilano but you can use any honey and fun fact my mum actually has a little beehive in her house in her house in her garden so we usually get fresh honey from our family bees but I'm actually all out of that honey so I ended up just buying some Capilano honey and I'm just gonna squirt a little or just drizzle a little bit of honey on top of the one with the strawberries and of course on top of the one with the banana and shredded coconut but you don't have to add extra sweetness if you don't want you really don't need to if you've got fruit on it it's already sweet enough but I do like to add just a little bit of honey just to make it a little bit sweeter and usually in the mornings I won't add honey but if it's in the middle of the day and I want a little bit of a pick-me-up and a little bit of an energy boost then I love to have the berries and some honey because they've just got that little bit of sugar so it gives me my sugar fix for the day and there you have it so there are my mini buckwheat pancakes and I think these are such an easy and yummy and healthy alternative to your traditional pancakes and of course like I said buckwheat flour is so much healthier than normal flour so I definitely like switching to buckwheat flour instead and if you guys recreate this recipe and you try it out and you like it then make sure to take some photos and upload it onto social media I love to see your recreations and of course if you liked today's video then thumbs up show me some love and don't forget I will be posting up my study tip videos on Wednesdays and Fridays but my next video for brain food will be on Monday again so until then have a happy and productive week and of course remember guys Food is fuel. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tuck into this because it just looks so yum and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Bye, guys.